my hair green. And all of a sudden, people look like me. I was a devil, devil, devil. Check this out. Good morning from the Tetons. So yesterday we did Delta Lake, got all crazy, came down, didn't get attacked by no bears, luckily. Um, but it was kind of scary being up there, you know, pretty late. Um, but it was all good. Then we came back down. We came and found one of these famous cabins down in Jackson. We did some Milky Way photos. Well, Jake really did the Milky Way photos, but we were there for moral support and he got some sick ass shots. Now we're headed to Square Top Mountain, um, something I've never even been around or whatever, so I'm super stoked about that. And we about to get it. Let's get it, boys. Hey, boys. Hey, boys. Let's get it. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Nothing's gone <laughs> wrong. It's been great. There's no bears. Make sure you look both ways when you cross. You crazy, boys. We got the rig. We got the canoe up on top now. Ready to get it. Get my boat down to the water. Keep supervising, bro. That's your job, cameraman. Wow. Bear try to run up on your ass. You come here. All right. Let me find it. I was going. I was going to safety first, but I keep that click clack on me, dog. Ooh. Yeah, put that thing on me. And a toaster. Keep that ham on me, dog. I'll put it right there. So, you know, we out here day two of this Wyoming trip. Me, Johnny, Jake Ryan, we about to kill this stuff, okay? So yesterday we did Delta Lake. Today we come in to do this place that I ain't even gonna say. It's our little hidden secret. Check this out. So back in April, Johnny was in town and he found a picture of this and he was like, yo, it says Wyoming, the geotag or whatever. He's like, where's this at? I'm like, dude, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think that's in Wyoming. That thing looks crazy. So we started doing our research and we ended up finding this place. And now we got 22 miles. We rented this canoe, 22 miles. And we're going to get to the tip top of that boy here in a day or two. It's going to be insane. Johnny's going to base jump off it. Just kidding. He's soft. <laughs> he didn't bring his rig. Yeah. But let's get it, boys. We are here chilling on the boat. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Satellites look like normally when they're flying. Airplanes, normally what they look like, they normally flash in. You can kind of have a, hear a sound when you're this high up in the mountains. In the Wind River, we're in the most remote area ever. There should be no reason why five just single lights were flying in the same direct line, going very, not like super fast supersonic or nothing, but going pretty fast across this place. And they were all going in the same line, same direction. Jake is out here trying to say that the lights are flashing. But then, never seen an airplane before. <laughs> but then what happened? But look at him. He's scared. Look what I'm happened. I'm scared. Are you scared? Yeah, I'm not an alien that. I don't give a about that stuff. But we just saw five weird things in the most remote area in the world. Right in the lower 48. Jake. What? I give you a $100. No to no. run one mile away from us and back. $100. Yes. I wouldn't do that for $5,000. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Then what the hell am I going to do with $100? <laughs> what, what am I going to do with my $100 then? You know Charles Barkley said that? When they're like, yeah, the ATM limit has like, you know, they only let you take $300. And he goes, man, what the hell am I going to do with $300? <laughs> like, <laughs> Bryce, I'll give you $100 to go jump in the river right now. I'm actually gonna not do that just because I don't want to be all chilled all night. So you're scared? Yes. <laughs> Camped out in one of the most beautiful places you could ever sleep last night. Saw some, maybe some UFOs. We're not really sure yet. They were. They were a thousand percent not planes, Jake. They were UFOs. Can I get confirmed? 50-50. 50-50? 
Now we're walking. We got quite the uh, excursion today. Wish us luck. That's what we should start calling it, huh? Say what up, boys. How's the walk on? Mm, whoa, I'm good to go. I feel good, I look good, I play good. You feel me? That's all that matters, you dig? Woo! All right, so camped at the base of Square Top, guys, last night. Try to come up. We heard that there's not much of a trail. It's kind of bushwhacking. And we are bushwhacking. We are completely off the trail. Uh, wish us luck. Hopefully we don't get too lost or turned around up here. We got some peaks to keep us pretty straight. So we'll do that. Johnny's over here trying to start a fire. Trying to beat off a stick. <laughs> trying to beat off his, his little sticks off his big stick. And wish us luck. Went off-roading. Still off-roading. We get a little bit out of the trees though. We can see some peaks now, but it was tough. So, <sighs> we're really in these bushes going straight up. Oh, making progress pretty much on this back, back side of this freaking monster right over that side. This is where all the photos were and videos were coming from on this way. We came this way. We gotta climb over this backside. All we got left is this little bit. We're in crunch time. We gotta get off the mountain by three or down. We gotta leave this area. It's getting crazy. So it's been crazy. One of the hardest, most intense hikes I've ever done. One of the coolest places I've ever been to. It's beautiful. It's we made it. I'm normally not that scared sitting on ledges, but this is like 3,000 feet and I'm tired. We started all the way over there the other day. And now we're up here. It's been about two days, 22 miles, canoeing, bushwhacking through the woods, rock climbing, freaking exhausted. I'm excited to see my calorie count of how what the heck this just was. This is insane. We are off trails because we wanted to get down faster because Jake had a flight in the morning. We got to get back. And we went down the sketchiest route, just straight down. It was gnarly. What happened? I don't know what happened. The Somehow, tank got blown off the cliff in the water. When there was no wind, all our stuff Is my there. sleeping bag in there that you gave me? Yeah. yeah. Sleeping bags, pillow. Everything. Find our canoe. Yeah. Listen, I'm happy you guys got pictures in it. I yeah. really appreciate it. Do you care to be on camera? Whatever. You, you want to explain camera. this? What, you, what yeah. just happened? Yeah, well, so we saw this beautiful red canoe and uh, this Gorgeous. beautiful green river. It's dark now, you can't tell. Yeah. But, uh, we just had to take a photo with it because it was just sitting right there. It was. It was. It's been sitting there for a day and a half. Idiots left it. Of Shit's Creek. That's hilarious. So That's we did awesome. That, but then we heard you guys and found you and, and came for the rescue. Reunited. So Thank, Thank you, you so much, much bro. Yeah. So I appreciate it. That... All right, so we are out here. It is so bright. But we got the moonlight literally on the water. We're out on these canoes at freaking 10 o'clock at night, way too late to be out here. We can see the silhouette of this freaking monster mountain range. The stars, we're seeing shooting stars. It's one of the most incredible things ever. This is nuts. One of one of the cooler moments we've ever experienced, especially together. Love you guys. Very blessed. Just drove up here to Yellowstone. One of the just most unique, weird places on the planet. Um, so stay tuned for some of these views. Uh, we'll only be here for six, eight hours or whatever. So it'll be lit. Let's go. Yo, yo, oh. the smoke. I got the smoke, dog. Other than the one night we slept out um, in our tent by uh, the square top mountain and everything, um, this has been our home. Just an amazing trip. It's been super fun. I mean, check my view out.
not too shabby, right? Haven't showered in four days. The first three days I was wearing the same shirt. As most of you guys will tell from videos and pictures. Man, what a place. It's my favorite place on the planet for sure. Uh, so far, I guess, anyways. Um, I have other places that I've had incredible times, but this right here is when I die, you know, bury me in this area. Going back to Dubois where the clinic is going on Saturday, Sunday. Uh, I think we're doing it outside by the river and stuff once again. Just awesome times. Um, Got to drive this trailer back up about an hour and a half. And then that'll be pretty much after that, it'll be pretty much the end of my, this two week excursion. It's been insane. I mean, I love this stuff. I love just being on the go. I love uh, experiencing all these moments that the universe has put out in front of me and with God's creations and everything. Uh, just a very blessed young man. Um, I just, you know, always want to thank my parents and everybody else who's literally been a part of this that's created this life for me. I deserve none of this credit. I did nothing to deserve any of this. I just was placed in a perfect position. Uh, the Lord gave me a perfect mind for me to continue in this position in a healthy body and um, I'm just fortunate, that's all. I just want you guys to know that I'm very, very fortunate. If you're watching this, I'm very fortunate for that too. Watching me be an idiot, holding my phone out, holding my arm out like a crazy man, recording, talking to myself, but hopefully having you guys listen and enjoy. I love y'all.